Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 10 of my Frontier series. Um, I am doing a soybean contract on, well, this field right here. And I also am going to do a sugar beet contract on 15 and 38. I wanted 43 and 35. I don't really want 10 to be honest, but I want more. So we'll see if we get any more that pop up. I'm going to get them just so we can start working on that. Um, I've kind of done some, I've kind of done some thinking. And I think I have kind of a plan for us kind of going forward. I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Um, one other thing I did buy was this field here. It was on sale. It's even better price now, of course. Go figure. Um, this one is 9.5 down. It's pretty good compared to what we normally have, but I can't quite afford that. So maybe we sell some stuff. We'll see. We'll see if it goes down a little bit further. Um, and then that way we'd have our grass field, which would be real good. So... That's part of the plan with that. Uh, let me get this going this way. But yeah, so I have that field. It's a, a sunflower field. So what we're probably going to do is... Um, actually, is it ready to harvest right now? It is. So one thing we can do real quick. If you guys in here is we need to... I'm going to just keep this going, hopefully. Um, while we're doing this. We need to get a, a, a corn header. And I think we're going to do a corn header because it can do sunflower and everything. So I think that's the plan. And I think we do this massive John Deere one right here. Um, so obviously we can't afford that. So I'm going to lease it here in a second. I'm just going to get, I want to make sure this guy's going down the field good. And then we can hire him at the other side to work on this contract. Uh, but yeah, so I think that'll be a good, uh, a good thing for us. And we, cause obviously we have our big John Deere harvester and all that good stuff. So I think that'll be a good header for us to have, um, which I'm going to just, let's go ahead and just lease that bad boy. Beautiful. And then we can use that for our sunflowers. And then whenever we need to do corn products and stuff like that, we have it available. And now we can pretty much just knock out any contract with this thing pretty quick and easy, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so obviously we have quite a bit of factories happening right now and things going on. Um, but the problem with the factories on this map, and this is nothing against the map itself, but for us trying to be big, massive industrial outputs, um, well, this factory can only, the food, not that one, sorry, the food factory can only do so much. So when you have multiple things running in the food factory like we do, because we're making canned corn, soybean oil, and we were making tomato sauce, when you have multiple things running in the factory at one time, um, the problem with that is, well, it can't really keep up that well um, because it's going to divide the production between those. So it's not making as much as it could. So what I think we're going to do is reduce it down to one product once we get rid of the stuff in it and then use the other products we have, those other products that we're making or producing or whatever, um, to do other things. And I think that's just kind of the best way uh, to go about it. So um, what I think we're gonna do is use it for tomato sauce, since tomato sauce is really good income for us. And we obviously have our greenhouses and we have plenty of tomatoes and sugar is is hit or miss. We can keep doing sugar contracts right now. Um, at a certain point, we might get our own sugar factory, but we, I mean, honestly, we can, because we make, we make enough off of the tomato sauce that one sale of tomato sauce for the year more than pays for a sugar beet factory so um or a sugar factory so we'll probably end up getting a sugar factory at some point and getting rid of our small one um but yeah we'll worry about that in the future for now we're going to buy sugar as needed and just keep kind of going about our business but yeah it'd be nice if that thing can focus on tomato sauce um because well if we go into productions in here um tomato sauce 2160 it should make yeah it'll make a thousand liters a day or so which is great because that's yeah we just need more of it i think and that's probably our best our best option in there because canned corn it's not making a lot of it soybean oil it makes a little bit more but still we can find other things to do with our corn and soybeans so one of the things i was thinking with the corn is i still want to produce corn and use corn and stuff like that um, we can make corn flour and then use the corn flour to make bread um, we can make corn flour at the uh, the flour mill on the map um, so i think that might be a good way to kind of start going with that so that's kind of my plan for that and then put a bakery down somewhere um, we can use the bakery actually in obviously we can use the bakery built onto the map pretty easily um so we'll probably end up doing that but uh yeah so that way corn has a use um soybeans we're still going to be growing um because well for one we have soybeans right here they're not ours technically speaking but we'll still keep growing soybeans because they're great for the soil and everything like that um but in terms of what we can do with them a there's a few productions that are available. If we take a look here under productions, there's, there's, I mean, there's quite a few productions in here. We could make like soy, I think we can make soybean oil. Can you make soybean? No, soybean oil is not a base game product. That's right. Uh, but there are mods out there for what you can do with soybean oil. Um, and we do have, I think we have some installed in here. Um, we could use, obviously we can use like one of the one, Obatana's production packs to do some stuff with the soy. Um, Cause I think there's products in here for soy. 
Yeah, soy drink is an option. Uh, theoretically speaking, we can do that. Um, soy drink produces quite a bit, so I don't necessarily want to do that. I've done that before, too. Uh, but that is an option. But anyhow, we'll find something to do with the soy. Um, this is a seed production facility. We actually could just make seeds out of the soybeans. That actually might be a good idea. Just to... Yeah, that actually might be a really good idea. Um, I know we'd use our... Yeah, we might just do that because we use a lot of seeds. We go through a lot of seeds with what we got going on. So that might just be a good idea just to do that. Um, but I'll think about it. So that's an option for the soy. And then we can use that for tomato sauce um, and kind of reduce that down. Now, the other thing I think the next thing we're going to kind of start going for is we have a really good uh, forestry output with our sawmills and everything like that. So I'd like to kind of expand on that more. And I think the way to go about that, I think we'll probably try to do it this episode, as I think we're going to place one of the platinum uh, productions, which if you remember was the forestry expansion with Silver and Forest and all that. And I think the one I want to kind of go for is the flooring factory. Um, and the reason I want to go for the flooring factory is because the flooring factory itself um, is able to produce flooring from the planks that we're making. So I think that will be kind of an, an improvement there, which I don't know how much floor tiles are worth. $3,400 is pretty good. Yes, yeah, so I guess it kind of depends on what the ratio is. And that might be something I take a look at because if it's one plank makes two floor tiles, that's worth it. But if it's one to one, um, where are our planks up here? If it's one to one, um, it may not be worth it because our planks are actually worth a decent amount of money. Yeah, if it's one to one, well, I guess one to one, it still would go up because it's 25. I thought we were getting 30 for this. So yeah, I guess even one to one, it's still just kind of pushing it through in our production and making them more valuable as floor planks. Um, the other option we can do is uh, just kind of, well, I think that's a good way to go about it for that. And I'll do some of the math to see if we can make that, uh, how many flooring factories we need to have running to kind of get some stuff done. But uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good way about it. If I place it and it ends up being just really bad for us in terms of productions, I'll just kind of make us break even, get rid of it, and we'll call it a draw on that. But uh, yeah, so we got quite a things, few things kind of in the works here. Um, I'm going to get those sugar beet contracts done, get the soybean contract done, get our sunflowers harvested. And then next year, I think what we're going to do is I think we're probably going to plant, um, we might plant like a mix of corn and soybeans. That might be kind of what we do is some soybeans and some corn. Um, we may plant some sugar beets maybe in one of our fields um, and kind of get some sugar beet equipment because, well, I guess that is one thing we could look into is how much sugar beet equipment is. Uh, we have some strange things here we could use. I'd rather not use those. We could use this guy, but again, it's not... I guess if we're only... We can probably just lease it. This guy and uh, this guy right here. We can probably just lease those things for... I mean, how much is that to lease? It's, it's five grand, so we could probably lease it. If we did like a big sugar beet harvest, we could probably lease that stuff and just go from there and uh, get it all harvested real quick. Because um, we probably only have to do it every so often, so I really don't want to own it. Um, cause we're not going to, cause in order to make that lease cost be worth it, we'd have to, if we're going to do more than 10 harvests, which we're not, um, then we'd want to buy our own. So I don't think we need to buy our own per se. Uh, so I think just leasing, it's going to save us some money, but we could do a sugar beets. So what I may do is do a big field of sugar beets. Like maybe do one of these fields here, like maybe 12 of sugar beets, which when do we plant sugar beets, uh, right in March, or I guess we could do everything in April. Uh, yeah, we probably will actually do it in April. No, we'll want to do it in March. So everything's ready to harvest in October. Um, yeah, because soy would be ready to harvest then and corn would be ready to harvest then. So we'll plant them all at the beginning of the planting, whatever window there. So yeah, if we did sugar beets here, um, and then we get a sugar factory, which we should have enough money for by uh, next year for that. Uh, what do I, oh, I had my, I forgot I have my store delivery set up here uh, for, uh, um, yeah, I forgot I have my store delivery set up here for the uh, seed treating fluid when I was ordering it when we were doing the seed treating, but Regardless of that, so I'm going to get that contract done um, and kind of just kind of move forward with time. Um, I'll bring you guys back in if something happens or something changes. But uh, or if we obviously if we build a factory, I'll bring you guys back in for that. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later on. That's what I got for you. All right. Welcome back in, everyone. So we are continuing getting stuff done around here. Um, we are going to build a new factory. I think I'm going to wait until we get a little bit more cash in the bank. But we are going to do that. Maybe a couple of factories this episode. Um, so we have 112,000 almost liters of planks in here, which is great. Um, and I also actually, if we go, yeah, let's get out of that. Um, this one has nine, nine, negative 19, which is the best we've seen. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. Um, yeah, we're going to just buy that. Um, we're going to purchase the soil information. And there we go. 
Uh, it's 50, of course, which is terrible. What is the reason for it? It's about all the nitrogen. So once nitrogen's bumped up there, um, yes, yeah, so I might actually direct drill grass over top of the grass, if that makes sense, just to get this score up because tillage is getting hit there and we control that shouldn't have a problem with that for a little bit. It's been sampled, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yep. Um, which one is it saying that we're not getting a good score for soil sampling? 1.5, it should be, we should be doing real good on that. But anyhow, overall environmental scores are doing pretty good. I think what we're going to do is a round of soybeans. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to produce with those soybeans yet, but we can get them started growing, which, can we actually do that yet? No, we got to wait till April, which is fine. So April will do that, and I'll also take care of the grass at the same time. We'll get that squared away. It is ready to harvest right now, but we don't we have for equipment so we're pot we want to do hay so that's a forage wagon actually we're probably need something similar to that but if we go to what we own so what we own we'll have leased do you have anything leased in here that we are hay related nope the mower so we need to get a front mower to go with that um that one I believe we don't want to sell it i believe that one will uh go take a look at that one in the store i'm pretty sure that one will uh windrow Uh, let's see here. So that's the Kubota one. The one we have owned. Okay, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure we have it in this configuration with the wind drawers in the back. If not, we will add those on for sure. Um, but that's done a done deal there. What's the combination for that one? Uh, it doesn't have one. Ah, uh, good. Is there a Kubota front mower of some type that would match that? Yes, that guy right there. It's going to be that guy. Um, that's 3.2 meters. We might as well get a matching one. It's not going to be that much more. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that guy to match up with that. And then other than that, um, we're going to need a tether. Because we're going to make hay. So we will need to get a tether for us, which that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Tethers aren't that expensive. We can even get a Kubota one if we really want to. Um, 16,500. 9 meters. And 17. We really don't need 17. 9 meters is plenty, I think, for us. So I think we'll get the Kubota one there. When we want to go ahead and start going that route. And then we need something to pick it up with. The TARDIS would probably... Yeah, the TARDIS XL, that's what we're going to go with 100%. Okay, so then we'll use that to pick up our hay. Easy peasy. Um, that's the plan in terms of that. Um, this year, we're probably going to sell clothes planks and furniture to quite a bit of furniture so we'll make quite a bit of cash on all of that um yeah we're gonna do just fine in terms of all that i will bring you guys back in for those sales and stuff like that but in the meantime i'm going to pass for a little bit more time into tomorrow and get some soybeans planted so that's my plan right now so i will see you guys uh well in the second half of march all right welcome back in everyone so uh, i forgot to mention last time i actually sold pretty much all the dirt on the map um, most of it, at least there's a couple bits here and there, but pretty much all of it's gone. All the, everything I could pretty much get easily, um, is gone. I, so I sold about five and a partial load on the train, which was nice, but now we're done picking up dirt, which is great. Um, I also did the, after those four sugar beet contracts I did, we're done. We got 18,000 liters extra. So I put that away. I did spend 30 grand just now, uh, buying fertilizer, uh, because we needed some more solid fertilizer for our greenhouses and such. So I just wanted to stock up. And I also sold our sunflowers for 17 grand because I'm not going to, I don't plan on doing anything with the sunflowers. But uh, yeah, and it is April. So we are planting soy in these three fields here. And I'm going to replant the grass, as I kind of mentioned. But and is there carrots on that field? Oh, wow. They're starting to do the new root crops now that I have premium. And that's kind of interesting. That's real nifty. So we'll see if there's uh, maybe some contracts for those. We can maybe do some. I don't want to do any contracts those let's be honest uh, i might do some we would probably do some at some point uh but we're not gonna do contracts for them so uh, yeah, you can make a lot of money making soup which is great but anyhow maybe not we may not need to do it in the series um okay so i brought you back in because it is april as well and it's the perfect time to sell clothing canned corn and tomato sauce so we're gonna make a lot of money right now so right now to, excuse me to start um it is a really good time tomato sauce is still going up a little bit so i'm gonna wait on that one and then canned corn Let's see what's a good price for normally 4117 that one's going to be our best bet and we'll wait for that to go up a little bit more before we sell but if we go to clothing um it a good price is 189 
this is 22 and on the way down. So I'm going to sell it at Vintage Visuals. I'm going to tag that place, um, which should be, is it up over here? Yep. Okay. So um, now that's clothing. So that one we could theoretically pick up using uh, the TLX Phoenix or the TLX, yeah, the TLX Phoenix, um, or we could use our truck here. Um, however, this guy right here, as we know, with the long trailer, it's difficult to do the tomato sauce and canned corn in some of these shops. So I downloaded a new mod. I'm going to try it out if I can find it. Um, it's the Lizard Rumbler van. Um, I've never used it before. Refrigerated truck. Auto load stuff? Probably not. Uh, anyhow, uh, so the Lizard Rumbler van, does it exist? Here we are. Okay, these are more expensive than I thought they'd be. Uh, it, oh, those do say products on them. Goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm worried that those are going to... They hold a lot, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I'm worried that those are not going to hold... Uh, diesel wheel setup that doesn't matter as much. Um, fillable and fillable pallet packs. Interesting. Packs fillable pallet fillable tanks. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I don't. I honestly don't think this is probably going to work for us then. Um. So. Yeah, it was worth a shot. I've, I mean, we may still use these because these are pretty nice in terms of delivery and stuff like that. But uh, if I'm doing something wrong, or there's some something that I could use to load all those random pallets, let me know down in the comments. I am behind on comments, so you guys could have already let me know. Uh, but anyhow, okay. So I think we're just going to go ahead and rock and roll with this guy. Well, yeah, why not? Um, I don't have anything. I don't have any better ideas. So um, we are going to drive this over to pick up our clothing, get that sold off. This will take us a minute to get there. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. I think this is just our best. Uh, I don't know why I went this way. This is a long... Oh, there's a cop right there. Yes, that was close. Oh, I almost killed that guy. Sorry, buddy. Okay, here we go. So, we'll drive this down there. We'll get it loaded up. Um, yeah, we'll get it loaded up with clothing and just kind of hope for the best, I think. Um, we'll see how we are able to fit um, at Vintage Visuals. Uh <laughs> Sure, it's going to be great. Uh, worst case scenario, we will just uh, manually move the pallets in with super strength, and I'm not going to worry too much about it. But it would be nice if we had a auto load setup. I know there's one, I guess, that I could use that's supposed to just do anything um, that we're using on uh, Zalonka. If you've been watching my Zalonka series that we have on Yoss's, Yoss's farm and I, the farmer cop disaster farm. Uh, so that one would probably be just fine for this, but uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this sold, uh, hopefully here in a second. Yes, might take a little bit. See, let me look at, look at my episode time. We're about... Oh, geez, Louise. Well, that's not... Wow. Okay, well, I am going to just... Just don't tell Darren who I'm doing. It'll be fine. Where is the... Actually, am I even going the right direction? Where is the clothing factory? Is it over here? Fabric factory is over here. Oh, shoot. It's up here, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I'm out of control. Okay. <laughs> just out of control, guys. Uh let's get uh this is uh yep, yeah, let's just go up here. Is it this no, it's the next row down, isn't it? Well, we're close enough now, so anyhow. Um yeah, because there's our clothing right there. Oh boy. Um oops. I am just falling apart today, apparently. I mean that's probably pretty much par for the course, I guess, but let's go ahead and uh sneak in here we don't have very many pallets of clothing but they're worth so much money a pallet so we have 13,000 liters of clothes which should be um, quite a bit of money we can actually just drive out this way i guess be fine okay and then vintage visuals we're gonna see what the uh the setup for that is over there and see how that's gonna go yeah, we're just going to have to see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be in that area in, the, in there. I think I can open this gate up. 
Yeah, and headed in that way. So we'll try to drive in this way. Let's be careful about it. A nice wide turn. See, this is why we need like just like a little tiny delivery van that could just sneak through all these little areas. Which the TLX Phoenix is definitely better, but gosh, I didn't want. It. I just want one that can do all the. Pro oh, this would be easy for us to drive across here. Um, okay. Yeah, this will be easy. There we go. Is that all we got? That's all we got. That was a lot of money off of our clothing. So that paid for our sheep and everything, which we needed it to. Uh, that is, wow, we did all right on that. Okay. Um, let's go pick up our, well, let's go pick, yeah, because what do we got for time? It's going to be a little bit, I'm just going to do the other ones off camera, just because a little bit short on time. And then what we're going to do is, after I do those ones off camera, I'll let you know how much we make off them, obviously. Um, I'll get all of our planting done, and then after all of our planting done, I think I'll bring you guys back in and we'll close out the episode. And we're at a factory, and it's kind of the goal. So we're going to do that. So I will take care of that, and I'll bring you guys back in after that. All right. We're going to get ready to finish up this episode here. So first thing I did was sold the canned corn and tomato sauce. Canned corn is about 76000 and tomato sauce. We only had seven pallets of tomato sauce and we brought in 64 grand, which was great. I also sold, we bought, it actually might be, it might actually still be on, yeah, this guy here. So we bought this planter used, I sold it. It, for one, it's five meters, so it is better than the planter we have, but it's six miles an hour, whereas our other one is four and a half meters at nine miles an hour. And this one misses all sorts of bits across the field. So just obnoxious. So I just got rid of it. Um, I think we, pretty close to broke even on it or whatever so it's fine um i also saw this guy because well we can always expand our delivery fleet fleets so this guy's only 39 grand to buy so i decided to buy him which i did put him in the wrong configuration but i can fix that later or we can use it as a truck literally just a 39,000 r truck is great so that's a screaming deal uh, and now it's time to add in our factories and get rocket and rolling with ending this episode the one thing I wanted to say as we were going about it here, um, if you guys have not checked out G Portal, that's where I use all my servers whenever I play multiplayer and stuff like that. Um, they do a fantastic job with everything. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys check them out because well, they're fantastic. And if you use the link down below in the description, um, you will get 5% off, which is a nice little discount for you. And it goes to support the channel, so which is great. And honestly, their servers are better than most other server companies, if not the best of the best out there. I think they're personally the best of the best out there and you get really good mod space and stuff like that, and they're actually cheaper than all the other ones out there. So definitely really worth it to check them out. In addition to that, if you guys are looking for any Farmer Cop merch for Christmas or anything like that, down below in the description, I'll have the link to that. Um, there is a special 2023 Christmas mug out there, as well as some other cool things on there. Um, and if you guys need to order the game for anyone for PC down below, make sure you guys use my code Farmer Cop at checkout or using those links down below. Uh, to order the game for people. And lastly, I know, I'm sorry, I'm shouting, doing all my shout outs real quick. Uh, I do have my own coffee company, firstrespondercoffees.com, which is also linked down below in the description. Um, order some coffee if you're in the US um, for any of your family members, it's great. But okay, so we have this guy, which this guy is great. I did some research on soy factories and I found, well, I found like the soy patties factory. I found the soy drink factory, which is great. Other than, I'll explain a problem with it. And then we also have, there's a soy patty factory somewhere in here. Soybean factory, this guy right here. And this guy takes sunflower oil as well. So this is just a pain to do. Uh, so I'm not going to do that one. Um, yeah, so I'm just not going to do that one. Now the problem with uh, the other guy up here, where is he at? The soybean, soy drink, this guy, is yes, it makes soy drink, but you actually lose a lot of money if you do it this way. Because it's like 15 soybeans to 13 soy drink. Whereas I can use um, a few of these guys down here. Um, if I can find one of them that actually does the soybean drink, soy drink guys. This guy right here will do it. Uh, it's one to 10. So it's a much better ratio or something to that effect. So um, several of these I'm probably going to put in. The problem is, again, they don't produce, they don't, they just don't uh, produce as much. So they're just slower. Um, so I just need to put more of them down, which is fine. If I have to do it that way, that's totally fine. I really do that. But that's really the only thing I have as far as options for that goes. But uh, yeah, and then we're also going to put, of course, a flooring factory down. Um, let me lower that a little bit. I'd like to just level this whole thing off. There we go. 
going to sell that guy off eventually, so I'm not worried about that. I can go right up to the wall, too, which is super nice. And that is fabulous. So now I know it's all one even playing field, if you will, which is great. Yeah, that's fantastic. So that didn't cost us too much either, to be honest. So that was a pretty screaming deal for just getting that quickly squared away. Okay, um, didn't mess anything up in here, really. A little bit there, but not a big deal. Oh, that's my phone going off. I apologize. Uh, but okay, so... This guy is still, he's, this guy's floating out, which is fine. Um, this one is almost done. Does it require, what in the world does it require water for that? Why do we have water in here? Oh, cause we did premium potatoes at one point. Um, yeah, we'll just, and it's water. We get water for free. So I'm not really worried about losing the water, but once the sugar beets are processed out of here, we're going to sell this bad boy off because if we have more sugar beets, we're going to build a legit sugar factory. So. The one thing I do want to build, though, that we kind of talked about is the flooring factory because I think that will be a good use of our money. It's the only one that only takes regular planks. Um, where are you at, little buddy? Flooring factory. So it is a little expensive. 110, but uh, I think it will be worth it in the long run. I think I'm going to sneak you over in this corner. Kind of right up against the wall here. I want it a little bit off the wall so we can easily grab the flooring. Right there, 110. Okay, and we'll see how one of those goes for now. Um, I do want to do a little bit of... I like things to actually look nice on my farm, so... Um, that sounded like you guys don't, for whatever... Just the way I phrased that thing. I like it look nice as if you guys don't. That wasn't what I meant. I apologize. I, I just, I do like to try to make things to look nice as possible on here. Uh, oop, no going over us, that's fine. Um, so that'll be good there. I don't, I might put some of those small ones right along here. So maybe if we go to production, that could be a good spot for some of these guys. Yeah, specifically this guy right here, if I can get the, some of these guys right along here. Maybe just three of them to start. Um, oh, gosh darn it. I did not want to put that there. Yeah. Oh, good. I got all my money back. That was good. Um, landscaping, painting. Again, I can always change this later if I need to, uh, but I think I'm just going to run that right into there. Out to the road there. Oh, I'm going to leave that alone for now. And this, I'm just going to run just so it looks nice. Out there. There. Okay. Um, I can probably put a little Okay, so there, our little production area is going together very nicely. Uh, if we need to, we can put another flooring factory probably right next to it. This guy will go away and put our sugar factory here, maybe another factory here. Uh, so we have a nice little industrial district. And we can probably put two more of those in there if we really wanted to. We can pick that tree out, uh, which is great. So there we go. Now, if we go up here, let's get these guys configured. Um, this guy is going to be... I'm going to activate this one. Um, and we are going to set... Set some for, well, actually, it could distribute the planks over here pretty easily. It's only going to take 10,000 liters. So, um, yeah, let's go up to... Boy, everything... Did everything get re... Yeah, see, it put, throws things in random spots. Um, furniture. We need to sell some furniture at some point as well. And we're going to have plenty of stuff to sell next episode, that's for sure. And, oh, soybean oil is almost done as well. And once it's done, I'm going to shut it off and we'll focus on canned corn until the canned corn is done. And then I'm going to focus on just tomato sauce in that factory because that's our big money maker there. Um, okay, manufacture planks. Here we go. Spawning. Let's change that to distributing. Let's go that route right there. Um, and that should distribute them over to here. And we should be making flooring, which is great. And I'm going to set this, uh, the floor tiles to spawning. Because um, you can't hold very many, so that'll be fine. And it doesn't hold a lot of planks here, so I'm not worried about this getting a lot of planks. That was one thing I was worried about. Um, open that. There we go. I was worried about this being a really high capacity because if that was like, you know, 100,000 liters of planks, I really don't want 100,000 liters of money basically sitting here. Um, so only 10,000 liters of planks is not a big deal. Um, and honestly, it will, uh, it'll cook through those pretty quickly here. So um, this will be good. 31 times that. So this should make theoretically 31.2 cycles times 180. This should make 
Um, oh, it's not as much as I thought. It's going to make 5.6 pallets a month, which is, I mean, that's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. So we'll probably end up building a couple more of these, or at least one more of these. But uh, yeah, so that's good there. That is what we have for today. Um, next episode, we're going to continue rocking and rolling. I'm thinking about maybe starting to go down the mining route when we get a little bit more money. I think that'll be good for us. So anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.